In the last part of the training series, we're going to talk about an additional useful method of sharing your model aside from VR, which is 3D PDF. In this scene, the first thing that we need to do is to get rid of unnecessary elements that we won't be needing in the 3D PDF document. Select the starting position and press delete on the keyboard to delete it. Also delete the plate stand and the stage as well. Now we're only left with the cabinet model that we want to share in the 3D PDF document. Notice that the components still have the play sequence actions attached to them, which will be functional in a 3D PDF document. From the file menu, go to 3D PDF and select settings. In the page tab, you can select one of the many templates that are provided by SimLab Composer, or you can create your own. Click on the create icon to open the template designer. In the template designer, determine the size of the template. In this example, I will set it to 1280 by 720. In the panel to the left, you can set the type of background for the template. I will set it to image since I have previously created an image in Photoshop to use as the background. Click browse and select the image, then click open. Next, we're going to add some rendered images and use them as buttons for the scene states, similar to what we did in the plate stand. Click on the Add Image icon and press anywhere on the template to open the image browser. These are images that are rendered for all the scene states we had in the scene. Select the config one image and click Open to load it into the template. Click and drag the image to change its location. You can also use the arrows on the keyboard for more accurate positioning. Click on the Add Image icon and add the second scene state image, which is config2. Instead of adding images using the Add Image button, you can press Ctrl and C then Ctrl and V on the keyboard to create a replica. Then move the replica by dragging it. While the replicated image is selected, select the browse icon from the panel to the left and select the config3 image. Replicate the image again and double click it to change its image, which is easier than clicking browse. Then select the green image. Follow the steps twice more to add the two remaining scene state images. The following steps is to attach the scene states that we have in Composer to those images. Select the config1 image and from the panel to the left, set the action type to scene state. Type in the scene state as it was written in SimLab Composer, which is config1. Select the second image and set its type to scene state as well, then type in the scene state config2. Follow the same steps to attach the scene states config3, green, orange and purple to the remaining images. The last thing that we need to do is to determine the area where the cabinet model will be displayed in the 3D PDF. Click on the 3D area icon and click anywhere on the template to place the 3D area. Now using the red draggers determine the size and the shape of the 3D area. Once you're done, go to the file menu and select save. Type in a name for the template and click save. Go back to SimLab Composer and in the Page tab, click Refresh to reveal the recently added template. Select the cabinet template and click Export. Type in a name for the 3D PDF document and click Save. In the Export dialog, you can set the units used, as well as set the option to optimize the scene, which would merge all static components resulting in a smoother viewing experience. In the Scene States Manager dialog, make sure that all the scene states are selected and click OK. In the 3D PDF, clicking on the images to the left will trigger the scene states attached to them, while clicking on the components will trigger the animation sequences.
Let's go back to SimLab Composer and explore an additional PDF tool that can be very helpful. From the PDF menu, select Merge. Merge allows you to combine multiple PDF documents in a single PDF file, so we can combine the PDF we created in SimLab Composer with a technical documentation file or user's manual. Click the Add icon and select the 3D PDF we created in SimLab Composer. Click Add again and select a different PDF document. Now click on Generate PDF. Type in the name for the document and click Save. Now we have a PDF document containing both the 3D PDF page and the technical documentation page in a single file. 